click, kaboom, ah, crash. Welcome, huge movie fanatic Nate, stopping on by once again, coming your way with a retro laserdisc showcasing video. Having already reviewed the movie, the epic by the name of Roller Coaster from 1977, I thought it only made sense to stop on by and do a showcasing of the laserdisc that I purchased to see for the very first time, Roller Coaster from 1977. As we can see here on the back on the bottom, copyright 1993, MCA Home Video Incorporated, all rights reserved. Taking a closer look at the front cover, top corner, digital laser disc, other top corner, roller coaster, and the closed caption logo, as you can see, got this at half price book sometime after October 11, 2023, for $3 bargain. If you haven't seen my review of the movie, I quite enjoyed it. As we can see here, the layout for this era of MCA Universal Home Video Laserdisc releases are like this. They put out non, you know, letterbox stuff, non widescreen stuff, but when they put out widescreen releases at the time, it looked like this. As you can see on the top, it says letterbox, and as we get closer to the bottom, you'll see the word edition. I imagine this artwork here is cobbled together for the home video release and, you know, not original theatrical poster artwork. I wouldn't imagine just pictures from stills of the main stars. I mean, it, it is 70s feeling, like they did the pictures of the actors in, in on posters in the 70s, so it's got that 70s feel to this early 90s Laserdisc release. Not being very familiar with this film, I'm not sure if this roller coaster font would be the original. It kind of looks old, so this is possibly the original font for the title roller coaster from the poster maybe from the 70s. As we can see here on the bottom corner-ish digital sound, we might be able to also discern copyright 1977 Universal City Studios Incorporated all rights reserved. That would be the copyright year for the release of the movie in the theater. Other bottom corner, the 90s, well, mid, it was kind of early to mid 90s MCA Universal Home Video logo. Taking a look at the back, top corner color, one hour 59 minutes. Yeah, they barely squeeze that onto a single laser disc with one hour per side. That's really squeezing it on there. PG, as we can see, the rating, extended play, a CX encoded laser disc. That would be for, um, I don't know why you need to put CX. Noise reduction that reduces noise on analog audio tracks on a Laserdisc that's got digital sound unless certain old Laserdisc players couldn't play digital sound. It's possible all the Laserdisc players I have can play digital sound, but perhaps the older ones couldn't. Got closed captioned as well. Got a little box here that says Letterboxd Edition. The film on this Laserdisc is presented in the 235 to 1 aspect ratio of the original 35mm anamorphic theatrical prints. The black areas at the top and bottom of the image are normal for this format. Proportions may vary based on the monitor used for playback. As we can see, title top there in the center. This time it's red. I don't know what, what was it on the front cover. Yeah, it was white on a red background on the front cover. Other top corner barcode, you got abbreviated credits there. Image there of the main star, George Siegel, and sunglasses, and on the telephone, picture of the bad guy, and as I mentioned in my review of the movie, the picture of this sexy, busty cleavage chick who you just see for like one, two, or three seconds as a belly dancer in the movie. So I don't know what the hell she's doing here in this scene. Looks like she's trying to do something that she's, you know, bad without being seen with a stapler. Who the hell knows what this frickin' still is from, or what the hell she's doing. But the main picture in the background is just a picture from the movie of a roller coaster fun. Thrills abound in this high-speed suspense yarn as Timothy Bottoms, a determined terrorist, begins to turn America's amusement parks into battlefields. The tension mounts as affable safety inspector George Siegel attempts to track down the saboteur who has targeted the country's most popular roller coaster and its riders for senseless destruction. 
the edge of the seat excitement mounts as the battle of wits between Siegel and Bottoms builds to an explosive climax. Co-starring Richard Widmark and Henry Fonda, the Jennings Lang production takes viewers on an unforgettable trip filled with sense-shattering twists and hairpin turns. As we can see here, as we get close to the bottom, side one, we've got chapters, which is something I don't generally see, because mostly I showcase older laser discs from the 80s, and back then, I mean, depending on what it was, they didn't even bother putting chapters on the back, so, you know, 90s was a different story, as we can see. Chapters looks like, um, yeah, for side one and for side two, obviously. Getting further to the bottom, looks like catalog number 41. 397 Laserdisc logo and other info can be found at the bottom. Because of the size of the Laserdisc and the small size of the print, you're probably not going to be able to read the small print, but life does go on. Taking a look at side one label of this Laserdisc, very boring what they were doing at the time, just a white label with red print. The early to mid 90s MCA Universal home video logo can be found up top. Laserdisc uh, one indicating side one of this two-sided laser disc release extended play CLB catalog number there warning information on the other side roller coaster letterboxed you can also see copyright 1977 Universal City Studios Incorporated all rights reserved side two is going to look exactly the same except for a two is going to be in place of the one actually have this unexpected bonus feature of this showcasing here. This was found inside the laser disc sleeve, something we can take a closer look at, which is pretty cool. Just a little piece of paper just showing all the other titles that are available on Laserdisc. Laserdiscs from MCA Universal Home Video. Got Werewolf of London, Raising Cain, Scarface, uh, Cal, Cal and you got this other thing that becomes her sneakers, strays, and quicksand. Yeah, okay. But you can see the difference between the ones that are widescreen and not. Like Death Becomes Her, that release there isn't widescreen. It's just going to be the full frame. You can tell because it doesn't have that thing that Raising Kane does, which is the letterboxed edition. So basically, Death Becomes Her, Werewolf. Well, Werewolf of London is an old movie, which is almost full screen anyway. But Death Becomes Her, Sneakers, Strays. Quicksand, these releases that are pictured here, I'm sure they had widescreen versions of them, but for some reason the, the covers pictured are the full screen versions, whereas Raising Cane and Scarface here are the widescreen versions. On the other side, there's more titles here Far and Away, House Sitter, Out on a Limb, Spartacus, Pillow Talk, Jaws, She Did Him Wrong, The Lives of Beng Bengal. Lancer, okay. Just an interesting little bonus bit for this showcasing video. A little just promotional insert that shows more titles that are available with a cutout, perforated business reply mail thing. Oh, look at that. No postage necessary if mailed in the United States. Looks like it's just a question questionnaire thing. Okay, you can mail in and give them some information. Guess that about does it for the showcasing. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, we'll catch you on the next video.